What's up guys? My name's Perry the Entertainer and it's finally time for your 2012 Night of Champions review. In the first match, which we had in the pre-show, Zack Ryder wins the Battle Royal to be the number one contender for the <laughs> United States Championship. I kind of thought something like that was going to happen, so I didn't expect something like... Well, Ted DiBiase came back, like I told my friend, that's exactly what I said was going to happen. But he gets eliminated two minutes but in the freaking match, so whatever. Um, then we get to the actual show. The first match was the Intercontinental Championship. The Miz beats Rey Mysterio, Cody Rhodes, and Sin Cara. Um, the Miz had Sin Cara's mask on his head, like Sin Cara pulled it out of his pants. And he stuck the mask on Miz's face, and uh, without him knowing, he hit a skull-crushing finale on Cody Rhodes and got the win. Um, since I had so much high expectations for this match, I didn't think it lived up to the expectations, but I set the bar so high that I didn't think, you know, it could pass it. So it was still a good match, but it didn't, you know, lead up to my expectations. I was expecting so much out of it. That's why. Um, then with the second match, Kane and Daniel Bryan defeat Kofi and R-Truth for the tag team titles. That was pretty obvious. It was pretty obvious. If you didn't know that, then I don't know. I really don't know. Um, in between these two matches, Caitlyn got attacked or something. And they had to scounge find another opponent for Layla later tonight. And then the third match, Antonio Cesaro defeats Zack Ryder for the United States title. Worthless match. Oh, by the way, I'm talking about the... Well, the Kofi and R-Truth match, that match should have been on Raw. It I, shouldn't have been on a pay-per-view. Antonio Cesaro versus Zack Ryder shouldn't have been on a pay-per-view. Should have been on SmackDown. The fourth match, Randy Orton defeats Dolph Ziggler in the match of the night. It was a good match. Um, Dolph Ziggler pulled out some good moves. So did Randy Orton at some times. I kind of thought Randy Orton was going to win because he's apparently leaving on Wednesday. So don't have him go off as a loser, you know what I mean? But then again, they had Chris Jericho do that. So fuck! Fuck! No, okay. um, then the, <laughs> the fifth match, Eve took the spot of Caitlyn and she beat Layla for the Divas title. So Eve is now the new... Divas champion. Um, oh, the Randy Orton Dolph Ziggler match, by the way. Like I said, match of the night, at least up to this point. And it was a good match, like I said. Layla and Eve should have been on Raw. It was stupid. Then, the sixth match Sheamus defeats Alberto Del Rio for the world title. Um, right before this match, Booker T announced that the bro kick was unbanned because his investigation is over. Why is his investigation two weeks? Two weeks long to determine if this if this move is dangerous. Of course it's dangerous. Dumbass. Sheamus beats Del Rio um, with the bro kick. And no Dolph Ziggler cash in, so... Fuck you, fuck! Stupid! God! No, I'm kidding. And then, the final match, CM Punk versus John Cena for the WWE Championship. It ends in a draw, motherfuckers! It ends in a draw. Um, Cena went for a German suplex off the top rope, and he hit it and both of their arms were to the mat, and he pinned CM Punk down for the three count. Cena thought he won. He grabbed the title. He was celebrating with the fans, and then the referee ripped the title out of his hands and gave it back to Punk, said it was a draw. What a good ending to a show. A match that you've been building up for so long ends in a draw. Are you kidding me? Cena comes out in his pink like we all thought he was going to. 
Punk comes out in these Yankees colors trying to make fun of the fans because they're in Boston and their rivals are the New York Yankees. And it just made the crowd love him even more. If they're trying to turn Punk heel here, it's not exactly happening. It's not working by making fun of sports team like that. You might as well have fucking Punk come out in Patriots gear. Yeah. Yeah. Might as well. And then have Cena come out in Giants gear or something like that. Or have Punk go out there in Giants gear or something. Would have made sense. God. Um... Overall, show wasn't bad. Um, if I had to rate it, yes, uh, I want to see if I can rate them again. If I had to rate it, I'd give it seven, six. I want, I'm, I'm gonna say seven point two five out of ten. I did. Um, I didn't think it was that bad of a pay per view. Um, a lot of the matches I believe should have been on Raw, or they shouldn't have been on the pay per view to begin with. So, hey, what do you expect? Um, yeah, I'm starting to think if I missed anything. Um, oh yeah, they spent basically the entire show talking about this breast cancer thing. Blah, 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 breast cancer. We would like to thank this chick for supporting breast cancer. Why? <laughs> whatevs, whatevs. I'm not gonna, not gonna hate on it, because I know a lot of people have it, and, you know, I'm not gonna hate on it, so... You know, I just didn't like how they spent basically the entire show basically just, you know, doing that shit. Um, anyway, I don't think I missed anything, and that's kind of my review. That's kind of a uh, little short one. I kind of want to get it over with because uh, I don't have all the time in the world to make videos, so, you know, just kind of wanted to make it and then, uh, you know, head on with my life, quote unquote. So, till next time, I'm Perry the Entertainer signing out and... Peace out. See you guys in the next video, which will probably be... Oh, I can't believe I forgot. JBL was calling the show. I can't believe I forgot to mention that. JBL was calling the show with Michael Cole. Michael Cole's acting like the face announcer. JBL's the heel announcer. It was cool. It was really cool. And I, I hate to say it. I, you know, I, I don't think... I'm not going to say it then. I'm not going to say it. It was going to be something along the lines of I really didn't miss Jerry Lawler on commentary. But, um... I don't know, because tonight, they really focused on JBL and Michael Cole, and, you know, I, I, I do miss Jerry Lawler, definitely, but he's, you know, definitely should come back to commentary, but, you know, it's just, JBL just suits that position right there, and, you know, basically, you know, I would rather have Jerry Lawler at his 100% than have him come back early because, you know, the fans want him back or something, so, I'd say keep JBL on there for a couple more weeks and then have... Um, Lawler come back and take a spot back. Anyway, that's my thoughts. I'm Perry the Entertainer signing out. Peace out.